to an HTML uh, uh, set of pages out of that we could uh, thumb the tree uh, like the, the the names with all the legal numbering yeah so that you could easy, that, that could be a, uh, an easy way to make another structure in another site or just making the same thing with in another language no yeah. but you get the skeleton so if you were going to translate it you could start with the yeah the with the thumb tree got, yeah yeah and then just go through it and change yeah it make a small modification like all, uh, we used to do that adding two letters for the other language yeah. that was the way to go yeah. uh, delete the structure and also there was another feature uh, which is about converting the structure in some kind of web help web help yeah. like HTML pages static with yeah. some kind of browsing and searching yeah. uh, and that but, but it's worth just saying if you do make any changes yeah uh, Tiki Wiki keeps all the old versions for you, doesn't it? So if you of make the a pages. mistake, yeah. you can go back yeah, yeah, for and sure. undo what you've done. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. The, for, for the pages you can. So let's go to see the, uh, this structure about tutorials. So that we'll see now, we, we are seeing now the full list of pages of this structure. Yeah. So it's not that long. We have some of those of the first level and some other second and third level. Yeah. So let's see uh, if we wanted to change... Um, let me see if you wanted to add uh, a new page called how to create a profile yeah which is this is an, another feature is being yeah. introduced into you want so we're gonna have to write the documentation soon yeah, eh? yeah and also maybe another video or whatever oh yeah lots yeah of yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we'll try with adding no, no we don't want to add an alias we want to add like uh, let's see we can add a new page how to create uh, let's write that with hip with a space here how to create a new profile which is something that needs to be written for a tutorial for this new feature which is uh, coming along in 3.0 so how to create a new profile where do we want to set this new page at the structure mm -hmm. could we look we have create a profile yeah. uh, maybe we could add that after create a profile and then yeah. maybe create a profile create um, a new profile in 3.0 yeah. about the new version of creating profiles so we want to create a page after which page after yeah. creating a profile yeah. so then you click on update and this page will be updated and all the numbering either okay. eight pages or 800 pages will okay. be updated Just, yeah so that was five that was six let's imagine that whoops create a new profile in Okay, we need to uh, to edit this. I yeah. made a mistake here. Yeah. So, look for the edit. Yeah. And we are editing this node of the structure. Uh, after edit, ooh, we are editing the, the real content of the page. Ah. That was not what I was, uh, what I was going to do, what I was interested in doing. So I cancel edit. But now we, have, now we know how to do that as well. Yeah, for sure. And I want to rename the page because I made a mistake. So, let's see, rename the page. So, how to create a profile in. Mm -hmm. That's it, we rename the page. Right. And we can go back to the structure, and then all the structures that we're using this page will be updated right yes. now. And yes. all the pages linking to here will be updated yes. right now. Yes. So we go back to the structure, we can go back here. We have the link to go back to the yeah. admin edited structure thingy. So yeah. we click in here and go back there. But you can also go forward and backward and up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, we could, but since we're still administering it. Yeah. So let's see that we want to say that this is not like six, but 5.1, Yeah. like a new option of yeah. whatever. Which is better, isn't it? Yeah, for, so it's another nice feature of uh, structures that you can uh, change the, um, the position at the legal numbering of the structure. Yeah. So, okay, I want to be, to be not 6, but 5.1. 5.1, which is coming. There we go. So, all the others are updated. Yeah. And uh, we have that as a sub-page of the other one. Uh, okay, we could, moving up and down, we could also, clicking here, we could monitor the substructure. I mean, if I, now that I'm clicking in this page, I will get an email of any change of this page or all the pages below this one. Yes, I found this really useful myself because 
particularly when there's new features coming along yeah. and someone's working on the documentation. Yeah. You just press this monitor thing yeah. and if anyone ever changes the page or corrects something, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get an email straight away saying yeah, yeah, yeah. it's changed. And uh, it means that you can keep right up to date. Yeah, up to date of only the things that you're interested in. Exactly. In some exactly. of the things, like if you if you email in an in email list about, hey, I made a new page for documentation, then it will be the equivalent of clicking here. Yeah, and now you monitor get the, the full for structure. You make you get an email for everything. But the nice things about forums for discussions or wiki pages for creating content is that it's up to you to monitor either the full thing or just only the tiny things you are interested in. Yeah. So maybe, no, I don't want to get information and emails about everything, but I'm very, very interested in, in profiles, let's say. So I just, now I'm not monitoring anymore the full structure. Yeah. And let's say I don't just want to monitor the, the yeah, or even better, since I'm interested in profiles, not this, but number five, create ah, a profile, yeah. because it will monitor this and all the sub Pages and even if structure. people add sub pages, you'll get an email yes. to say this. And yes, you've been at one but if they are added to six, seven, or eight, you don't get an email. Yeah. So it's, it's up to you. Okay, uh, once we let's say that we get some content here, okay, now we know that we'll get some content just to send to write the sentence, yep. and then we'll get all the information out. So, uh, how to create a new profile. You, oops, you can have a quick view of what is coming along in GK 3.0 by reading for the time being, yeah, until we yeah. improve that, uh, this page. Fantastic. And then we'll... We yeah. can carry on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Help improving this page. Oops. Fantastic. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's smart. Yeah. So we preview to see if I made some kind of mistake or whatever. It was simple writing. So yeah, the URL, yeah, the URL smile there, the smiling, icon and the yeah, yeah. HTTP is intended to a link. Yeah, so we saved that, that was a kind of trial. And then we want, at this point, we want to get all the content of all the um, tutorials out from the, the Tiki site. Yeah, to print them. Same. Yeah, to print that. Okay, so right now the way to go is like if you click on here at the printer at yeah. each page right it now you just print the page yes yeah but if you want to print the full thing then you have to go right now to the main application menu under the wiki section yeah. where it says multiple print great okay we click here multiple print and this allows us either to choose single pages from anywhere to be added together like yeah. in pages like any page from there you select these and that yeah. and that oh, yeah. here we are at the multiple print that we selected before yeah. then we we had that for selecting pages or selecting structures yeah. that we are now. Yeah. so we select the structure that we want to uh, to add yeah I mean like to Which is add means yeah just to add all the pages of this structure to a single chain so you could have a print of every page and all the structures you just yeah. add them one after another yeah, that's right. That's, you can that's choose the ones you want. Yeah, that's what we want to do. We we just by clicking on that, yeah. we take it 2.0, just by clicking, then you get the structure added to the yeah. selection. Now yeah. you could add some other structures or some other pages yeah. to the selection. But for now it's enough. Yeah. We click on print and then it, we will produce the full documentation of yeah. tutorials all is. together in one page. There it is. Ready to go. Uh, see, yeah, all those pages in here. Then, okay, let's imagine that we want to to get this into uh, mm, editor, like open office editor, or whatever. Yeah. So the easiest thing, let me see, let me see, we will have that, like processing edit word processing mm -hmm. from open office. The easiest thing just to copy everything and paste it into the editor. Yeah. And then 
once in there you can start adding like a heading, a footer, an index. Um, and just start formatting it in a way. Yeah, and then produce a PDF.